Hello everybody and welcome back. This is ZDS here bringing you guys another quick little tutorial video. And as I stated in one of my community tab posts that I posted uh, the day of the recording of this video, I've been spending the last couple of days uh, tinkering with my computer with Citra, the new, with the new laptop that I bought a few weeks ago. And I have finally gotten Citra to work properly. So I wanted to go ahead and give a couple of little tutorial videos on how to do things, certain things in Citra. And the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna be really quick video. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Citra real quick here. And the, if you can't tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to configure your USB controller or Bluetooth controller to Citra emulator to use it for your games. So the thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up Citra, of course. And I'll leave a link down in the description for the Citra emulator so you can download it yourself. Uh, go to emulation, go to configure, go to input. Make sure your controller is either plugged in or connected via Bluetooth. It will work with Bluetooth controllers. I have tested this with my Switch Joy-Cons. And then just select each of the button interfaces and press the button on the corresponding controller that you want to have set for the uh, controls. So I'm going to go with the L and R buttons there. Left on the C stick, right on the C stick, up on the C stick, and down. Start button, select button, circle pad, left, right, and up, and down. Now I'm also going to set analog stick here. This will change the directional movement to 360 degrees instead of four directions. So it'll say, after pressing OK, first move your joystick horizontally, then vertically, horizontally, vertically. And it's set. Directional pad left, directional pad right, directional pad up, and down. And then just click OK. And let's go ahead and show you some gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and open up Super Smash Brothers here for the 3DS. This does not have the DLC, but I just downloaded it today. Let's see how smooth it runs. As you can see, the controls work just fine. I'm not using a keyboard at all. Let's go ahead and select the character real quick. And get a small match started. Always go to Final Destination because it's just an easy place to go to. And I'm using an Xbox 360 controller for this. I just feel that this is the uh, most comfortable controller to use for emulation. So there is some slowdown, unfortunately. Not exactly sure why. But thankfully with my 3DS capture card as well that I have, um, I won't have to worry about this. You guys can expect Super Smash Brothers videos from me uh, in the coming months when I get a new job. It won't happen now because I'm going to have to buy a new copy of Super Smash Brothers and repurchase all the DLC for it because my 2DS Excel, or my 2DS rather, the one that I use for recording, uh, does not have the DLC characters on it on the SD card. So get a, get a good knockout in there, and you can kind of just get a kind of get the gist of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that, and I'm gonna do one more small test here, which I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Ultra Sun. Now, occasionally when you're switching ROMs for Citra, you will have that glitch happen, just for a second. Now, I can't tell you where to download the ROMs, but I can tell you that just go ahead and Google it. You, I'm pretty sure you guys can find it pretty easily. Let's go ahead and get into a battle here, just a random encounter. 
Now, of course, there will be a little bit of lag for me because I am using Bandicam to record this. But thankfully, Pokemon doesn't really lag that heavily. Now, this is a file I've already hacked, so that's why I have all these Pokeballs here. Just gonna go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at this Cutify. Then we can call it a day. All right, so that's just a quick little uh, informative testing video on how to use the controller with Citra. It's really, really quick and simple to test to set up. All you have to do is just have a controller ready. Either plug it via the USB port provided with the controller to charge it, or if it is a wired controller, just go ahead with that. I recommend an Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller for this. However, if you only have a PS3 or 4 controller, that'll work as well. I happen to have both, so they work just fine too. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for this video. Uh, if you guys like to support the channel, the links to my Twitter, my Patreon, are in the description down below, so support me if you have the ability to. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas for future content, and just swing on my way, and I will see what I can do to make that a reality for you guys. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTuber fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.